Congratulations on your purchase. Please follow these helpful steps to install your new AeroDeck platform using the Crossbar Adapter Kit. This product works best with ProRack Aero Flush through rail or heavy duty bars installed on your vehicle. Start by laying out the contents of your Crossbar Adapter Kit and apply the adhesive protective rubbers. For a ProRack Aero Bar or similar with the standard 22mm accessory slot, install the T-bolts into the accessory slots and slide inwards at each corner. Measure the distance between each T-bolt. Now measure between the T-bolt and the bar leg edge. Adjust the T-bolts so they are evenly positioned as close to the legs as possible, but no more than 1,040mm apart from each other. It's now time to fit the adapters. Install the crossbar adapter washer into the crossbar adapter itself and place it on the T-bolt. To level the adapters, place a platform beam as a straight edge on the crossbar adapters. If required, an adapter can be rotated 180 degrees for a varied angle. Now install and tighten the M8 T-bolt nylock nuts and check that the crossbar adapters are still level to each other after tightening. Completing the adapter setup, install the M8 nylock nuts into the adapters and align with the holes ready for platform fitment. Now let's assemble the aero deck platform. Start with a clear workspace large enough for your fully assembled platform. You'll be assembling the platform upside down and it's recommended to lay down cardboard or a blanket to prevent damage. Start by identifying the side perimeter beams. These do not have a ProRack logo printed on them. Slide half of the slat clamping plates into the first side perimeter beam channel and the remaining plates into the second side perimeter beam channel. Return to your vehicle to measure and note the distance between the crossbar adapters. Identify the mounting slats, which have additional channels on the sides, which are used to attach to the crossbar adapters. Place the mounting slats face down, so the accessory slots face the ground. Position the mounting slats at the same approximate distance measured between the crossbar adapters. Now position the standard slats with even spacing. You can adjust this spacing to support rooftop antennas and opening clearances for a rear tailgate. Join the slats to the slat clamping plates using the M8 washers and nuts. Only finger tight at this point to allow for later adjustment. A reminder, we are assembling the AeroDeck platform upside down and the accessory slots should face the ground. Identify and position the front and rear perimeter beams. These have a ProRack logo printed on them. Install the corner brackets into the front and rear perimeter beams. The corner brackets central screw should be facing downwards. Now insert the corner brackets into the side perimeter beams, leaving all screws loose. You may need to lift and align the wedge blocks of the corner brackets as you install them into the beams. Install the M6 screws into the corner brackets finger tight. Now tighten the M8 side perimeter beam screws. Do not tighten the front or rear perimeter beam screws. These will be tightened when the AeroDeck platform is installed on the vehicle. Install the wind deflector to the front perimeter beam by clipping it into the channel along the full length. Now tighten the M8 nuts for the standard slats on one side of the platform only, but leave the mounting slats finger tight. Now it's time to install the platform on the vehicle. Lift the platform and rest it on the adapters. Complete a final measure between the adapter and the inside edge of the side perimeter beam to ensure the platform is centered on the vehicle. Install the adapter clamps into the mounting slat channels and tighten the M8 screws. Now tighten the nuts for each slat. Moving to the corner brackets, tighten each of the M8 screws. Now return and tighten each of the M6 screws of the corner brackets. To install the corner covers, start by unscrewing the cover screw with four anti-clockwise rotations. Lift the washer, slide the corner cover into position and re-tighten. Apply some pressure to the platform at various positions, checking all components are correctly installed and fasteners are now tight. 
Your installation is complete. Well done. And you're now on the road and ready for anything with ProRack.